would really be something else. A red eye? Really? Be the happy pappy. Back down the hatches, boys. We're going on a boat ride. Getting ready to move up three here. It is early in the morning still. It's about 20 after five. It's gonna blow today. It's different here. Are you kidding me? Woo! Get up in this boat. I've been out here and I'm gonna go start where I caught that four pounder. So hopefully he's got some buddies around. I think I'll, I'll start in those couple and just kind of see where it goes from there. I know I can get a bunch of bites down here in this bay. You know, I don't know about the size on them. So go up here and chunk around. Hopefully we start reeling in some bass. Yeah, that's the walking frog junior. Is what that one is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I don't use the big one, the big walking frog, that much. I like the popping frog, mm -hmm. and then I like that junior. Do you add any rattles or anything to it, or just do you? I put a weight inside. A weight? Do you? Yeah. How much? Just small. Yeah. Small baby. Yeah, you know, small. Um, Shot. Just to get it to sit down on the mats more and stuff. Yeah. yeah. That's exactly why I'm adding these rattles. Right. It's easier for them. Mm -hmm. And I think they know it's there more too. Mm -hmm. You know. On a mat like that's one situation where you don't care if your frog soaks up a little water, you know. <laughs> And the four pounder I caught was not in the culvert, but it was about off of that tree. That didn't look small. That's a pike, I'm afraid. It might be a bass. No, it's a bass. Yeah, that's a bass. I thought it was a darn pike. Thank you, Lord. That don't work. Pretty fun on a Terminator frog. Boy, he's crushed it. Man, I got him good, too. All right, let's see what that will go. That's a good start. Three pounds, two ounces. Three, two, yes. Pretty, pretty fish right there on that frog. Yes. Thank you, Lord. I'd had one hit it earlier and missed it. Actually, right here about in front of the boat. I don't, could it have been the same fish or not? You know, I don't know. A red eye? Really? I don't really care to do this since I didn't catch any bass back here. But before I leave, I'm going to try to open up a hole right here. Fair game.
Oh yeah, that's a good one. There was a couple fish chasing, or at least a fish, chasing something down that seawall right down through there. And that got me one of them. Thank you, Lord, that's a heavy one too. Oh yeah, yes. Three pounds, five ounces. Yes. Good chunk, man. Good, good chunk. I just had one miss my frog right here. And then that one just come up chasing chasing something, bluegill or something right down through there. Thank you, Lord. Oh, golly. I thought he had it. Well, there wasn't just one there. This is not what I was expecting, but I will certainly take it. <laughs> Two pounds, eight ounces. Two and a half pounder. Nice one. Thank you, Lord. Let's do that a couple more times. I mean, why not? Something holding a couple of them. Two pounds, five ounces. Two five. Two five. Nice one. Pretty, pretty large mouth bass. He kind of come up, ate it on top as I was twitching it just a little bit on the Bass Pro Wacky Sticko. I have to say that was pretty cool. <laughs> so when I was here earlier, if you recall, I backed up there with the trolling motor and flushed that pipe as best I could to try to create a little open water hole in there, which is what I just get my frog into and caught a bass that weighs three pounds three ounces three pounds and three ounces so that little bit of work earlier just paid off in a three three thank you lord oh yes oh yes that's just i mean that's too prime of a spot i i, I caught a couple rock bass out of there all i could do was punch in it these fish don't really seem to be wanting to bite something flipping i don't know if it's a time of day whatever but Get the old Terminator Jr. in there. Ooh. Yes, thank you, Lord. Good period for me. 14, seven. I've got three three pounders. Um, first one I caught there. Last one I caught there. Uh, mostly on a frog. And uh, yeah, it's been been good. It's been fun. I've had a few other chances at fish that didn't get, but uh, there's not just gobs of bites in here but there's some decent fish in this little canal i've spent the whole period in this thing i'm gonna make a few more casts in in this pipe before i leave but uh very thankful for the way this first period went i'm gonna stay after it I got one. Pretty nice one. Three pounds, one ounce. Three pounds, one ounce. Pretty one. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Nice fish. Thank you, Lord. Boy, it's been a minute. 
a long minute, just to be quite honest. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> uh much slower second period but did end up manage to catch one good one right here at the end of another three pounder so sitting in a good spot we've got a little over 15 got another period to go um be good to catch one really good one cody would let me catch one like five pounder one just one five pounder i mean it'd be the big fish of the tournament right now so we're not asking for much but yeah one more good one one more three pounder i'd be really really tickled around that motor be the happy pappy <clears throat> it's pretty happy pappy right there <laughs> when i came look at that boat when i came in here i said i hope i catch one of that boat that makes me a happy pappy <laughs> and i just did two pounds 15 ounces almost a three pounder so close so close oh thank you lord that was pretty cool well, solid day. Ended up with 15.10. Um, good, good day in my books. I'm, I'm very pleased. Just didn't have a big one, truthfully. I had all three pounders. Definitely had, you know, I, I had some bites I missed and stuff, but that's okay, because as Cody says, you're just saving them for later. <laughs> Gotta catch them. <laughs> Local days. Yeah, so saving some for later. I uh, actually had a bite on my last cast there uh, about eight seconds to go i think fun fun day catching on a frog pretty good time this is weird second period very slow um and then third period about two o'clock man it's like flipped the light switch and they started biting again so i don't know if i was just in some dead areas or what but uh they definitely seem to pick back up this afternoon pretty pretty happy for today go back have a day off and do it again Two. idling out blasting off right now behind spencer Chuffield. he fished in here or put in here as well the other day uh, but we did had a had a good 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 first day very happy with the way that ended up uh, and uh man we just need a decent day today the weights were definitely down yesterday you know i think the between the windy conditions they had which are pretty close to what we're going to end up with uh, as well as uh second day of pressure kind of all of the above i think factored into a little bit tougher day so i'm okay with that honestly because that means the, the cut weight won't you know maybe won't double or won't go up uh, but man if we could get to 28 28 and a half i would feel really good about our chances of making it and then we get to go explore so excited for today get out here and get after it it's just fine. Cody, it looks like there's a little bit of open water up in my pipe up there. But look, I mean, look at the, how hard the water's coming in here right now from the wind. Yeah, it's definitely coming this way. Yeah, but it's still blowing it all out. Right, it's blowing that way, but it is, you know, it's not pushing in on that other shore. It, it is yeah. pushing in on this shore. If there's any that got, like did that, I don't know if this one does. 
but if that went a mile and then it made a lake yeah dude that'd be a ton of water sucking in there you know what i mean now, this is a question i truly don't know the answer to and i didn't do it the other day if i pull up to this pipe and cast across the road is that legal? I would say I'm going to speculate on this. I'm, I'm going to appreciate on this. I'm going to say it is legal. In my first opinion, I guess it's a thought. The trick would be bringing it back to the boat. Well, I can get out of the boat to land it. And with a penalty. With a penalty. Yeah. So you're not leaving the body of the water. You're not leaving the boat. I can't see any rules being broken. I can't that was a test or a question. No, that's a, that's a legit question. I, I truly don't know the answer to it. Do you want me to make a phone call? Or... Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I do, actually. Hi, I need a clarification or a rule. Can, can an angler pass across a road into a water? And... That, and tell them that there is a pipe connector. There is a culvert. So there is water right through it. You can pass under the culvert to the other side or over the culvert to the other side. Is that legal? We're good. Thank you. There you go. We're good. Okay. Don't hit a car. Just, yeah, don't hit a car or have the car run over a bass. <laughs> I have to lay your line down if they come driving by. Right. They hit at it. This would really be something else. cool i walked it off of that mat and i saw that fish wake the water up it came over Ooh, gobbled up that frog thank you lord boy i pinned him good too that's what i like about that little walking frog junior they eat that thing they usually get them pretty good i'm gonna put him on here and then i'm gonna get the rest of the grass off of him it's kind of skinny but he ain't bad Three pounds, three ounces. Oh yeah, he ain't bad at all, baby. Three, three. Yes, thank you, Lord. That's one of the skinniest fish I've caught since I've been here. Kind of thin, but boy, that's a nice one. Three, three, yes. Yes, yes, yes. That was sweet, dude. I, and I doop, 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 walked it off that mat and it just made a wake. Sucked it in. Oh, that's a good feeling. That's one we need. That is one we need. Every one you catch like that's one you ain't got to worry about culling. You, you're very proud of him. Very proud. Very proud of that little guy, too. Well, first period update. Um, started in that canal and got one nice one, three, three out of there. Um, had like four more bites, I think. Um, 
man, I don't, I don't know what their deal was. One of them I, I maybe had stuck for a second, but they just weren't eating it, just kind of coming up and rolling at it and just not eating it. So uh, come out here into the into the bay and the reeds and caught a little one, caught a scoreable, had a couple other bites. Uh, 33. I think that'll score. Got bit out here, but not the, uh, you know, not the size. Which I, I was coming out here to hope to catch a limit. Honestly, you know, if they're if they're all one twelve, two ones, I would be I'd be happy to have them right now. So uh, go spend a little bit more time out here. Got a creek right over here that I'm gonna go check here in just a minute. But um, you know, yeah, gonna I, I'd like to get a limit doing this. And then I can go back to those canals and just settle down and, you know, try to catch a couple of good ones and make it. It's a pretty slow day overall. Some guys have caught limits, but the weights are definitely down, it seems like. Uh, pretty calm, though. Not much wind right now. I think it's going to pick up a little later. Got a bug crawling on the lens. That's it so far. Period. Um, man made some adjustments. Stuck with the uh, buzz bait for a little bit. Ended up getting two more keepers in that second period but then it so i had four i was like man i just gotta go uh Slide fish that one i gotta go back to the canals i know that's where i'm gonna get you know to get a quality bite and uh and that's what it would take at that point um stay on there stay on there Yes, yes, thank you, Jesus. Oh, yes. Whew. Man, we have worked hard to try to catch five today. Three pound, one ounce. Oh, yes, thank you, Lord. Mmm. <sighs> so I'm sitting in 12th right now at the end of this second period. I don't know that that won't make it, but I sure would like to have about 10 more ounces. <laughs> um, that, that would feel really good about it then. If I had a pound more, I'd know I'm golden at that point. So, uh, one decent cull is all I need. One decent cull this whole last beer, and I'll be in good shape. So we need to uh, we need to get to catching us a bass. I bet you they move around so much under this stuff. Somebody else has been in here because there's a frog trail that ain't mine. I thought I saw one back there. Stay up there. There we go, baby. Right there we go. Yes. Mmm. Yes. Three pounds, four ounces. That right there should be my ticket to the knockout round, baby. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, that feels so good. Man, that should do it. Man, we uh we made the made the knockout round, thankfully. Largely that little dude right there, little Terminator Walking Frog Jr., green pumpkin color. Um, just fishing those mats, you know, and those and those canals and stuff, which is how I caught my weight um the first day as well so very very thankful for that fishing on a johnny morris carbon light 7.3 medium heavy rod a 7.5 to 1 carbon light reel and 50 pound bass pro shops xl braid got some decisions to make coming up here in a couple days but very thankful that we're in a place to get to make them